Hey up peeps, this is Team Reflector, I'm Moobit, and these are the top 10 films we're looking forward to here in the office in 2024. With last year's writer's strike, and of course DC and the MCU basically taking the year off, nerds like us might be forgiven for thinking that there's not much to look forward to this year. Boy are we wrong! From old school nerdy property film sequels, to monster movies, to some superhero-ish adjacent... Uh, projects that were, you know, we're going to be eating good, baby. Old School Remakes June Part 2 Hold on to your goggles, folks, because March brings us the long, 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 long awaited conclusion to Villeneuve's well-received June remake. Well, it was well-received by us anyway. Originally set to premiere in November 2022, and then Riot Strikes, the trailer has finally been dropped, and we can see more of Zendaya, a baldy Aston Butcher, and three, count them, three whole sandworms on screen at the same time. How wide does the camera lens have to be to get all those guys in? It must be like two miles away, dude. It's crazy. Furiosa. This prequel slash spin-off slash whatever you want to call it to Mad Max's Fury Road looks pretty damn awesome if we say so ourselves. This Anna Taylor-Joy project will focus on Furiosa as seen in Mad Max Fury Road and seeing her past and her struggles and what got her to, to how she was when we met her in the last film. Directed and co-written yet again by George Miller, Furiosa is set to release at the end of May 2024, so not long to wait. Beetlejuice 2. Now, they dropped a bollock there, didn't they? It should be called Beetlejuice, 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 right? Blah! It's showtime, peeps, and not a moment too soon. The long awaited sequel to the Tim Burton classic is finally releasing this year. Reuniting the original cast with director Tim Burton, composer Danny Elfman, and of course writing team Gotham Miller, and adding to the original cast the amazing Jenna Ortega, who of course we know from the Wednesday TV series, which uh, Tim Burton was involved in as well. But either way, we can't wait. And also I feel very old now. <laughs> monster movies. We all love a good monster movie, right? And we've got three of them. First up, of course, is the new godzilla -y Hollywood version, which is Godzilla X-Kong. Our big bipedal man in suit rubber guy is flying high after uh, the last Japanese film, Godzilla Minus One, released during the holiday seems to absolutely rave reviews. It's still going on in the UK right now. I still haven't managed to see it, but uh, we know our sponsor Arc Cinema's got it on, so I might go and have a little... A little cheeky watch of that. But the question is, can the Hollywood version of the Godzilla Kong Monsterverse saga achieve that sort of elusive one-two atomic sucker punch and actually become a well-regarded movie in its own right? I don't think it will, but stranger things have happened, right? Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And speaking of simians, only not so giant this time, the fourth film in the Modern Apes franchise drops later this year. This one is actually set 300 years past the time of Caesar from the previous three films. And as the audience, we go into the film seeing that apes have become the dominant species on, on Earth and humans have kind of regressed to a more feral state. But it seems human history and power corrupting has, has repeated itself yet again as current ape leader Proximus Caesar tries to pervert the teachings of the original Caesar to enslave the rest of ape kind, whilst also looking for the last remnants of working human technology. It's an interesting premise for sure, and we can find out what happens in May 2024. Alien Romulus. Supposedly releasing in August 2024, this project is a standalone thing that they've set between the Alien and Aliens films. Not much is known about it, even at time of writing, there's no trailer or anything like that, except that it deals with a very young cast. 
it remains to be seen whether it's actually going to be held in such high regards as it's sort of film mates either side of it or if it's going to go the way of the AVP franchise. It's game over, man. It's game over. Let's hope for the first one, shall we? Comic based. The Sony Spider-Man universe. That's right, the Spider-Man adjacent Sony shared Spider-Man universe of enemies or Sue. You're welcome, Sony. Chugs along further with two more entries. Um, I'm going to watch them anyway because I'm a glutton for punishment. But yeah, these are the non-Spider-Man featuring films about baddies of Spider-Man to go along with the Venom films and um, and um, Morbius. <coughs> oh, oh, that didn't taste good. Madame Web, starring the lovely Dakota Johnson. This film centres on Cassandra Webb, a paramedic who starts to display signs of clairvoyance. Forced to confront revelations about her past, she must protect three young women from a mysterious adversary who wants them dead. The trailer's been out for a few months now and has actually taken the internet by storm, but not for good reason. If we all remember the, the meme back when Morbius came out was, it's Morbin time. Um, every comment, if you go to the official Sony one, is, um, I love the part where, and then it just gets more and more random and extreme and silly um, below it. Now, there's no such thing as bad publicity, and actually the fact that people are commenting on it actually tells YouTube algorithm to push it to more people, which also means more people comment on it, but it does mean more I see it. And then there might be people wanting to see the film, even ironically, and then they might like it. Who knows? Uh, but it could also be seen ironically, and it turns out like Morbius. Craven the Hunter. Sergei Kravinov, the man who wants to go out there and, tr and prove that he's the best hunter in the world. So far, so very Craven the Hunter on every type of media, right? And just like the Madam Web trailer, this one has also taken a life of its own on the internet. With most commentators thanking Sony for showing the entire movie in the trailer and thus saving anyone from actually having to watch it in theatres. Yeah, I must say that uh, that thing that they do with trailers where they show all the best bits before you've seen the film starts to get a bit annoying. You don't need to spaff your load completely on the first trailer, guys. Directed by Richard Wenk, the R-rated Craven the Hunter comes out in August 2024. Deadpool 3. Probably the most anticipated comic book movie of this year, perhaps the last few years, both here in the studio and around the world. Deadpool, at this point, needs no introduction. The exciting part this time is it's the first film to be officially part of the MCU canon. How that will play itself out, we're yet to see. What we do know is that he's managed to convince his best mate back to play Wolverine yet again. And it'll be interesting to see how, how he fares because much as I love Hugh Jackman, I, I think it's time to retire his version of Wolverine at some point, uh, although he's quite iconic shoes to fill. Thankfully, the big wigs at Marvel have confirmed it's gonna keep its R rating, yay! And set leaks, if you don't want spoilers, don't look, but set leaks have shown that we might be getting some cameos from a few of the previous Fox X-Men, which would make sense. I mean, we've had Patrick Stewart's uh, Xavier in uh, Doctor Strange 2, so it's not much of a stretch. And if they're doing sort of alternate universe hopping, they could go to see different people from old films and it would be almost like a, like a comeback tour or a nostalgia tour before they introduce the X-Men properly into the MCU, which rumours are that's what they're going to be doing is introducing the X-Men into the MCU via Deadpool, which I think is a great idea, don't you? But of course, we're going to have to find that out when Deadpool 3 comes out on the 26th of July this year. So, you know, five months to wait, it's not bad. And that's our list. But what do you think? Did we miss anything out here? Are there any glaring omissions to the list? Right, 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 right. Write them out below and let them know. And also, if you if you haven't got anything, just, just go down there and press F to pay respects to my editor because, uh, yeah, I'm out of practice and this took a while. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, for more content like this from actual, you know, geeky people who work in the film industry, you can click right there. And uh, of course, if you want to see some more content along these lines and maybe a podcast coming very soon, then make sure you subscribe right here. And I'll see you at the next video. Ta-ra!